Legends Radio as we are talking about the passing of a legend. That from 1984 and the win over Michigan as we are talking this morning about the passing of BYU football coaching legend Lavelle Edwards. At the age of 86, Greg Rebell is joining us right now on KSL News Radio, director of broadcast media for BYU Athletics. Uh, Greg, your, your thoughts this morning on the news of the passing of Coach Edwards? Well, it's, it's uh, a day um, that, that takes me back to my freshman year as a BYU student um, and my first ever interaction uh, with, with Lavelle Edwards when he was just a legendary name to me at the time. And I was asked to uh, catch up with the coach to grab a sound bite for one reason or another uh, for the campus uh, TV and radio station. I was working down at uh, KBYU at the time. And, and from that interaction to the most recent one, uh, he was uh, he was the same. He was the same wonderful man. And uh, everyone will be sharing stories today, and and the common thread will be uh, of his graciousness and kind-heartedness and humility. At the same time, he was helping to create, um, you know, a college football powerhouse of the time. And those kind of qualities that he possessed. Um, aren't naturally and directly associated with the kind of success that the best in the game, uh, the coaching game, um, you know, produce. And yet he was able to, you know, have 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 everything. He was able to have the on-field success, the off-field success, and and the personal um, qualities and characteristics that made him uh, beloved by all. Uh, it's tough. To, it's tough to win that many games. For that many years, right. be a cha- and be a champion that many times, and right. not have somebody feel just a, you know uh, and ha- have a cross word or a cross feeling about you, and and no one ever did with Lavelle. He was he was a friend to all, even those that uh, that, that were his foes. There is something to be said about that, right, Greg? Uh, when you talk about coaching legends, as that uh, word gets thrown out sometimes, the word legendary, and and the fact that. This isn't easy. What he was able to do is not something, you know, you get used to winning for 28 years. You get used to averaging nine uh, wins a season. You get used to uh, the, the uh, comments about the team and, and the, uh, the great games, like the 80 Holiday Bowl. And you get used to the great players, Steve Young, McMahon, Detmer, the names you know, the, the tree that comes out of, of the coaching legend. But this is something that's more, right? I mean, it's easy to get caught up in all of the stats, but there's more behind all of that. And there is that, like you said, that common thread. Greg, are you there? Sorry, we, we lost yeah, you no, for a no, second. I, I, I'm still here. And, and uh, on, on the comment uh, you had made uh, just about uh, um, you know, being a legend and, and, and all the different things he was able to do I, and, and keep those same characteristics, I was, I was saying that um, – he was somebody for whom football was, was a main focus. There's no doubt. I mean, he decided early in his life when he was still a teenager that he wanted to be a football coach. I mean, he was, he was a, a 13, 14, 15 year old when he said, this is what I want to do. So it was a main focus in his life, but it was never the primary focus in his life. It was always his faith in his family. And, and yet those, those um, emphases trickled down to his on field and off field approach with his players. And, uh, Again, it was just it was just the the best and and most um, successful and happy combination of someone who was able to uh, be at the top of his prof- profession while having a personal life that uh, that that caused many to want to be like him and and follow him where he would lead them and and the stories are many and the stories are numberless and you'll hear a lot of them today and again they're all going to sound very similar in terms of uh, of their impressions of this uh, of this wonderful man. Yeah, Greg Rebell joining us this morning on KSL News Radio, director of broadcast media for BYU Athletics as we talk about the passing of BYU football coaching legend Lavelle Edwards uh, at age 86 and 
you know, so many things you can uh, speak to directly uh, must have been incredible for you. And and knowing uh, the the history, like you mentioned, of, of about this uh, the school and 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 coach and and then being a part of it and even taking the position that you're in right now. It's uh, it's yeah. it has to be special for you. And and even more so for for my predecessor uh, Paul James. Uh, Paul James um, did you know did my job as the play by play voice for 35 years. And his career and that of Lavelle Edwards were intrinsically linked. Uh, they they had the same career arc, and and Paul chronicled uh, Paul chronicled all of Lavelle's greatest successes. And it was not a coincidence that uh, when Lavelle said he was going to retire in the year 2000, that PJ said, "I'm me too." He he, he wanted to go out with Lavelle, mm. and and they did. Right. Uh, Lavelle's final game in 2000 was was PJ's final game, and and so PJ had had a lot. Uh, longer and deeper and and more aligned association with with Lavelle Edwards than, than I ever did. I was blessed to to be able to serve alongside Paul. As... Oh, we lost Greg again. All right. Well, we appreciate a few minutes with Greg Rebel, Director of Broadcast Media, BYU Athletics, joining us this morning on KSL News Radio.